So I don't know what's going on, but I saw something this morning and I wanted to share this. McDonald's never closes. It's always open. It could be rain, it could be sleet, it could be snow, it could be a blizzard. McDonald's is there. Coronavirus McDonald's is there. It's open. This morning, I got worried because I was like, what is going on? Because here in California, in South Los Angeles, McDonald's had closed their dining area and they had it taped off because of the virus of COVID-19. And it's been like that for quite some time. So a lot of the restaurants were affected. A lot of places have been affected. But yet McDonald's still, still seemed to thrive through all of this. But what I seen this morning is that you can't even go inside McDonald's here in South LA. Now, I don't know if this is happening to any other McDonald's outside of South LA. I'm talking specifically in the Vermont, uh, Westmont um, area. And um, I heard two men overheard them talking that there was some other McDonald's that were also implementing the same protocols. Now, at one while, you could walk in and order your food behind the counter and then you could leave, but you couldn't sit in there in the dining area. They had it taped off and you could do the drive through Well, now you can't even go inside the McDonald's and order. You have to exclusively do the drive through So that raises a red flag for me that these people around here that don't want to take this virus thing serious, you can do what you want to. But I think it's gotten worse, and the news is not really talking about much about this. Maybe they will later. But I believe this has something to do with the surge. Some workers might have gotten sick. Some people might have gotten sick because I was noticing, you know, some places were saying only three people allowed, only two people allowed. In some places, there were other restaurants that weren't McDonald's. But I noticed McDonald's, they had like a foot traffic, you wouldn't believe, of people that would go behind the counter and they would order their food. They stopped that. Apparently, that was not safe, I'm assuming. I didn't think it was safe, you know, even though they would say, you know, stand six feet apart. They had the stickers on the floor. You know, people are going to listen to only so much. So what I discovered is that when I went, you know, myself, I noticed that you could not even go inside the restaurant. You can't go in there at all. And everything is closed off. And you have to do the drive through you cannot even walk in. And um, there was one place where they even had the door open and they had furniture pushed by the door so that you can't walk inside. So that that's saying you're trying to keep something out for a reason. And so the news doesn't report this. So I'm just going to warn you, anybody that's in the Vermont vicinity, uh, South L.A., something is really bad is going on and they're not talking enough about it, or maybe they've talked a little bit about it, because everybody's so excited about sending their kids back to school. That didn't even look normal to me. I drove past the school this morning. I saw where the kids were all spread it out. Everybody had masks on. You could see parents, they looked sort of hesitant about sending their kids there. They were stretched out around alongside the fence of the gate to bring their kids back into school. They're probably happy their kids can go back for in-person learning, but there, there's in the back of your mind as a parent is this fear. You know, is my kid going to get sick? Is something going to go wrong? Is it clean in there? You know, who knows what, you know, they don't say a lot and they just, I feel like everything is a, a trial and test stage. What I did read recently is there's a surge and it's here in the U.S. Uh, one was from South Africa and then the other one is Brazil and then there's the U.K. one. That is a lot more transmissible than the first one was. And so whatever the, this surge is, I believe it's so bad that they've closed down. Some of the restaurants won't even let people in there. You just got to do the drive through 
I believe that's what's going on. And then some workers might have gotten sick and they told them to be quiet. And so I would even go so far as to say that they might even pay them compensation to be quiet. Pay them money. Don't say anything. You know, because that will bring a lot of heat down on our franchise. And then it will be all in the news, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just taking it a step further. But I wouldn't be surprised if this is what, what was going on. But we could not go inside the McDonald's. Um, here in South LA, you cannot go inside the restaurant. And so you have to order by delivery specifically. And so I just want to warn you people, anybody that's going to these restaurants, be careful because you think about it. You have to touch the buttons. You have to touch things. There's a lot of things that you're going to, people, you're going to, even though you try to stay fit relatively away from people that it's hard to distance yourself from everyone. And so I believe they're not mentioning all of this in the news, but it's pretty bad here, the surge. And I believe we're going to see more death and it's coming. And the other thing, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but these schools opening, I'm already hearing that they're saying some of the kids are coming down with stuff. And the sicknesses are different. It's a little different than what adults get, but it's it's COVID related. And um, sometimes you'll have kids that they seem like they're normal and they'll all of a sudden they stop breathing. Or, you know, they come down with something so bad and it's so fatal by the time they get them to the hospital, they've died. You know, and so they're not saying anything about this. But yet again, think about it. These are the poor communities that it's affecting. And so these were the people who had to, they had to go work these essential jobs. Um, also, I want to add in here that Ralph's has closed some of their stores. They closed some stores in um, some areas in the Los Angeles area. And even on the outskirts, they've decided to close their some of the Ralph's stores. You know why? Because they didn't want to pay hero pay. Hero pay was extra pay for the workers that were working in these stores during this, this virus and now the virus surge. And so you'll see places with all this plexiglass and all this stuff up some of the stores where they've really like ramped up their protocols of trying to protect the workers. But these workers were demanding some extra hero pay because some of the workers still were coming down with sicknesses because you're still coming in contact with a lot of public. And you're still having to touch things. And so like McDonald's ain't playing. They had everything closed down. <laughs> Anytime you see that these things are going on and McDonald's stays open, it, you're like, oh, it's crazy. But McDonald's is still open. Now you see McDonald's is shutting, shutting down the d dining room. They're shutting down the access for people to even go in there and order food in person. You have to order through your car. Yeah, you need to take it serious. Anyway, I'm going to let this video go, but anybody that lives in L.A., if you live in the, anywhere in the Vermont, Westmont vicinity, go check it out for yourself. You'll see what I'm talking about. And some might even ask, well, what, what's going on? What is going on? And they may not be at liberty to tell you every, all the details. They might just say, oh, we're just following. We're just trying to be safe. You know, but they want to keep their job, so they're not going to tell you everything. But it must be really bad. The surge is here and it's going to start coming in waves, I believe, where people, some people are going to come down with some sicknesses you wouldn't believe. And I've already heard that people who have survived the COVID have long lasting illnesses like brain fog, problems with cognitive, like remembering things. It's bad. It's bad. Really bad. Thanks for listening.